Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Super excited for this video in this series. So if you don't know, now you know, um, I just moved into my first home with Leland. Was that the microwave? We just moved into our first home. This is a rental home, a military home. If you're interested in what the house looks like, you can definitely go ahead on my channel. I'll link the video above as well if you're interested in seeing the empty house tour. But today we're starting our reno series, our renovation series. And we're starting in the living room, ladies and gentlemen. We're starting in the living room. So I talked about this in another video, I feel like. But the movers from a military move lost my couch legs. So we're working with no couch legs right now. I've been in contact with West Elm to get some replacement legs. And I also have to file a claim with the military move. But just ignore that for right now. Right now we're having a home moment of like the couch being on the floor. But it's not a big deal. So Leland's going to be painting these walls while I'm in class. And then when I'm on lunch, um, we're going to tackle some other things and probably put a second coat right um a second coat on the wall that's the plan for in here for right now so that's step one step one is painting the walls anyway so he just poured the paint this is what all right it doesn't look like anything it looks black <laughs> but um when it goes on the wall that's you know you'll see but let me post you guys we also changed clothes um i'm still in my zoom class so i just threw this on top of my dress i still have it on but just so i don't get any paint Oh yeah, it's gonna look good. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm gonna be ordering the outlet covers, the black and white ones, so it blends in, it doesn't stand out. Um, for right now, we're not going to put the covers back on just because, like I just said, we're going to be ordering the covers for everything. But we're going to hold on to these outlet covers for when we move out. Rental hat, guys. So with the outlet covers, just save everything that you take out of the, off the house. Yeah, save, off the I, house. It's probably in some type of storage closet or something like that. Yeah, so and like know. put it like in a baggie or like something so that you have everything in one spot so that... When you move out, you can just put everything back. Ryan Little. <laughs> All right, peeps, I gotta get back to class, but do you see wall number one? Well, section, because we still one. have this whole side over there. But he's gonna finish that while I'm in class, and I'll be back. <laughs> the living room and then hopefully we'll be done painting for the living room right when we be done painting for the living we'll room be done. yeah so then we can try to think oh and then we're gonna mount the tv That's really good and i love how the light reflects off of the walls but not like so bright but it is a nice reflection so it's not a dark i'm gonna say it's not dark black well it's not a sunken black like it still looks very much so open like it makes this wall and the space look open we he's playing with his stud finder okay so um update so today we're not going to be doing too much more only because it's been a long day and it is 7 41 right now and we want to be done with kind of the day by 8 30. <laughs> Day two, baby. So that's the TV right there on um, the wall mounted. Really nice. The next step that we're about to do right now on my lunch break, because I am still in this class. Next step is, I think I want to go ahead and do the pictures on this wall over here. Mm -hmm. So this wall right here, this white wall, that is like random. But it looks, the vision, okay? The plan for this wall is to put my pictures over here, have a gallery wall. I found a shoe rack on Facebook Marketplace. And the lady sold it, even though she told me she was going to let me have it. So I'm like, 
So I don't know, just gonna shop around and see if I can find an affordable shoe rack that I'm happy with. I just want one with doors. It's easy to find one, but I want one that has doors so it doesn't take away from the decor of the living room. I don't want somebody to be walking up in here with like yellow Crocs and like bright, obnoxious like Nikes and they're just sticking out from what the living room is supposed to look like. You know what I mean? Okay, we gotta go to CVS because I got all of my pictures printed and developed at CVS. If you didn't know, CVS does have a Photoshop where you can literally use the app, just upload your pictures. You can put different um, filters on your pictures and everything, pick the dimensions. She's cute. <laughs> She's cute. Y'all see that? Uh -huh. But yeah, so update guys. Um, we took a break from mounting the pictures. Well, is it called mounting? But I say mounting. I mean, that, that makes sense. They understand. Okay. <laughs> we took a break from putting the pictures up and stuff. And we're actually heading to go see a piece of furniture that I found on Facebook Marketplace that I would want to use as the shoe shelf that I was talking about. And I'm also thinking we're going to move away from doing floating shelves, at least right now. And I want to go to Marshalls or Home Goods to see if they have, or even at home, to see if they have a nice mirror to go in the entryway or entryway as well. So we're on the road right now. Um, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, this is a good piece of furniture. I'll show you guys the piece of furniture. right now we're getting mirrors because i want a mirror for the entryway we got the little storage unit thing for the shoes so i'm gonna show you guys that when we get back to the house yes, guys. i'm so excited for these mirrors oh and yeah. but it's like it's 7 30 i don't know how it's 7 30 already but yeah so this is the piece of furniture that we got today okay so this is a better uh, viewpoint of what it looks like um i love the glass door feature because i wanted something that had a door that you couldn't see through because i didn't want people to be able to see the shoes and take away from the space but i absolutely love this um lila really likes it too but yeah so i'm thinking of putting this piece of furniture um against that wall over here let me show you guys like right against that wall because I want people to be able to take their shoes off as soon as they come in the house. So that's what it would look like in the space. Um, I hope you guys can see. But yeah, so that's what it would look like in the space. It low key looks like a fridge, so I don't necessarily like that. But um, if you can imagine, you would come in the house and then let's use my shoes right now for instance i take off my shoes open this door and just stick my shoes right in there boom and be able to walk into the house so i wanted something that'd be right next to the front door i do think it sticks out pretty far i wanted something like more in so maybe i should move it over a little more so it's not like bam as soon as you walk in the house there's this big box right next to you um but yeah so that works right there. So Leland went and printed the picture of his family. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, yes, Marshall. I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there. But yeah, so this is the last picture for the wall. So yeah, so what we're about to do is we're about to tackle the wall, but I do want to um, show you guys the mirrors that I purchased from home goods because awesome finds bro like i found one let me just show you let me just, so this is the first mirror so this is the first mirror right here i do tend to stick with more like straight lines and stuff like that it's just my vibe you know but i wanted something you know a little funky shape if you hear leland in the back he is doing marshall's evening training we do training with him for his lunch and dinner so that's what you'll hear in the background um but this is what the mirror looks like. It's so pretty. Look, Leland. Oh, uh, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Oh, 
yeah. Doesn't it look good? Oh yeah. We didn't see it outside the box, obviously. So as you can see, we have the garlic roll right here, right? So we have one more row of, or is this a row? Column of the garlic roll that'll be here. It's gonna be three rows of three. Remember we discussed that earlier. And then we're gonna have this mirror on the wall. So I don't know yet if I wanna have the mirror this way or if I wanna have the mirror this way. And now that I'm looking at it on the camera, it just seems so small. So maybe I should have bought two. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna have Leland look at what it, tell me what he thinks of what it looks like against the wall, only because it kind of looks tiny. Not gonna lie, I have another mirror, so let me show you the other mirror. This is the other mirror that I picked up. This is from the brand Jack and Ray, and this one was actually on clearance for 30 bucks. I was like, what? And it's huge, it's really big, it's 28 inches. So this one is round, right? It's a your basic circle mirror. And this one is white. As opposed to that last one I showed you that was black. Um, this looks good. I don't want to necessarily put this against a white wall. I do want to put this against the black wall. And I'm thinking whether or not I want to do and go ahead and put this on that side of where I'm going to be putting the chair. So like right against the black. I think that it looks so, oh yeah, that's gonna look good. But I was talking to Leland and I was like, is it excessive to have two mirrors in one space? We're gonna um, hop into it. So we're gonna finish up this gallery wall. Come over here. We're gonna finish up this gallery wall, um, move some stuff over and start wrapping up the living room. She's a Mona Lisa. So here's our golly wall right here. Super cute. Um, I love the symmetry. It doesn't look like a lot going on, but let me back this up. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. No. So now to the process of putting all the furniture back. Last things last is the TV. So what we want to do, sorry, 
So the last thing we're trying to figure out is the TV situation only because uh, I want a TV console like to go down here. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, do I like the idea of just having a floating shelf and just having this sit here like that? I think that looks really good and clean, right? Yeah. So um, I think Newland's leaning toward the floating shelf. Probably also because it's cheaper than getting a whole console, like a whole. By the way, so we have like some spots that aren't perfect. We're going to do touch-ups and stuff tomorrow. But... As far as like stuff on the ceiling, we're not concerned about that. No one's going to be like, oh my God, like there's white on the ceiling. Cause obviously like we paint it and we're not professional painters. But as far as like, you know, the little places that need touch ups, we're going to definitely go ahead and do that. I think it's always easier painting all white cause it don't even matter where we get it at. Right. Right. Yeah. When we have to repaint it back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I don't know. Did I say that right? Like with a rental, if they allow you to paint, you do have to repaint it back to their original color nine times out of 10. So when we move out of here, we gotta repaint it back to this color, which like Leland just said, it's not gonna matter like being perfect. It just, it gotta get on the wall. people so we're done it looks so 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 good in here i'm really happy there's obviously some last things we need to do but we're wrapping this up um the last things we do need to do is definitely go ahead and get a plant for my planter over there by the door right there you see that um i'm gonna decorate that shelf definitely go ahead and watch my fall decorate with me because i'll be putting some stuff on that shelf we're gonna do some minor touch-ups on the walls put the outlet covers back when they come in on saturday from amazon they're just gonna be you know plain outlet covers um and then that'll be it that'll pretty much be it for the living room super exciting i'm so happy this came together i'm happy you guys decided to go ahead and watch this video all the way through next up is the kitchen which should be super exciting i'm really happy because we're going to be redoing the floors in there a rental friendly floor redo is did that that sound good? I, I feel like that sounds stupid. Anyway, but we're about to eat Panera. I'll see you guys in the next one. Definitely make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Comment down below what you think of the black walls. Would you ever paint your living room black? Comment down below what you think. If you have any other ideas of what we should do for the living room, definitely make sure you let me know below. As always, stay royal. Bye, guys.